Hello and welcome to Planet News. Here you will find everything new and exclusive. We hope you will join us by pressing subscribe and then like the video. You can just look at the street behind me here in Wuhan, China, and you can tell that traffic is coming back onto the roadways. You can tell life is starting to resume, albeit amidst a cautious optimism. A lot of the folks here are hesitant that this virus is gone for good. In fact, many of them believe there could be a second wave. CNN back at the original epicenter of the novel coronavirus outbreak, Wuhan, China, and it's more than 11 million residents navigating this post-lockdown uncertainty. Among them, American Christopher Suzanne. Yeah, let's switch out mask. I know yeah, that's your preference I here. My mask and, uh, don't do this. He suggested we upgrade our protective equipment before going for a stroll. It's a city he knows well. So this place is, you know, I was married here. I had a baby here. I've been here for the past 10 years. This is home. Yeah, this is home. Christopher's home is slowly emerging from a brutal 76-day lockdown. He returned to Wuhan in the midst of it. I'm real happy to see like people at least uh, you know keeping their distance, getting around, going going about their day. But just two weeks after the reopening, and some here are closing the gap on social distancing. Many stores and restaurants keeping people from coming inside, but that's not stopping crowds like this one from standing shoulder to shoulder waiting outside for their orders. In places like our hotel, there are noticeably stricter measures. Staff spraying us down each time we walk in and checking our temperatures inside even the elevators telling you where to stand and offering you a tissue to touch the buttons but will it last like we are afraid that there is going to be the second wave i think everybody here knows uh, you think it's coming absolutely yet there is growing skepticism over where the first wave actually originated so this is where Chinese health officials believe the source of the novel coronavirus is. This is the Huanan Seafood Market. Of course, they believe other things may have been sold here, hence the transmission from animals to humans of this virus. But you can see it's all closed off still. This has now been since January 1 that they shut it down. However, I want to take you now to the lab where U.S. intelligence is looking into the possible origins of this virus having come from there. We drove to the lab inside China's Center for Disease Control, just down the street from the market. This is one of the labs within Wuhan, not too far from the market either. It's an origin theory Chinese officials quickly dismiss. They also push back at claims that their reported number of cases and deaths is far less than reality even as numbers have repeatedly been revised upward to account for previous undercounts. Just last week, another 50% was added to the Wuhan death toll alone. So whether or not they want to share that information with, with the public you know, doesn't really concern me. I'm really more concerned about my family and, and what we can do. And others, like this convenience shop owner, more worried about resurrecting their businesses. I'm a bit worried. I don't know when we will resume completely. As China claims to get the virus under better control in places like Wuhan, there's now greater concern of those coming in from elsewhere. From our arrival into the city to this interview out in the street, we were questioned repeatedly. I'm from I'm from U.S., but I live in Beijing. A group of plainclothed and uniformed police growing increasingly uneasy with our being there. A reflection of both their fear of imported cases and a mounting distrust of foreign media. Yeah, we'll walk in the car. Yeah. We'll go. It is interesting to note that as you walk around Wuhan, you begin to assess different levels of complacency. You have some folks who seem to be very comfortable just wearing the mask, which is still part of the law, is mandatory, and will often go into crowds and be shoulder to shoulder with others. And then you have those who are still wearing protective gear from head to toe. They are not in the medical professional. They simply do not trust that this virus is gone for good. And hence, they want to protect themselves in as many ways as possible. And that means sometimes wearing as much protective garb as possible. And for them, it's about protecting not only themselves, but also those they could come in contact with. David Culver, CNN, Wuhan, China. You like the video, I share it in the channel, and you share the video with your friends, it is more support for us to develop from ourselves always. Thank you.